Hello loves. I am excited to be coming to you today with a little bit more talk on how to live and love more fully. So one of the things um, that comes up for a lot of people in terms of being able to live and love fully is that they got too much going on. So it's really hard to really live and love fully when we're dropping balls all over the place, when we're feeling overwhelmed, when we're um, not sure about the choices that we're making, um, where we're making choices that really don't align with our whole self. Um, maybe we've gotten used to making all of our choices with our brains and our heart sometimes wants something else. And so then sometimes we try and switch to the heart, but then the brain's like, whoa, no, I don't like this. And so how can we simplify our lives so we can live and love more fully by making more aligned choices? That's what I want to talk about. So first of all, when you're making really aligned choices, you're not going to be busy doing a whole bunch of other things that you don't really need to be doing. And let's get real. Most of us are doing way more than we really need to be doing. We kind of have a culture that we've created of busyness where busy is like the new badge of honor. <laughs> and really, it's just kind of putting us all out of balance. And when we want to live and love fully, we need space to be able to pivot in our lives to do the things that we want, pivot in our lives to go with more of the flow in life, pivot to take um uh, to really take advantage of opportunities as they show up. We need to have that extra space and energy in our life. And so if you're operating at 150% all the time, or even 100% all the time, um, you know, you are, there's not a lot of space for anything else there. And if we really want to live and love fully, we need space for the things that want to come in when they want to come in, you know, so you can go and take an adventure, you know, one afternoon, if you want to just walk into the forest and go and do that. Or, you know, if your kids like, wow, I really want to do this. And there's just that moment to really take advantage of this magnificent energy with your child, you can, or with your lover or with your business. Okay. So this is really important. So how do we do this? How do we simplify? So I've talked a lot about values and that's one easy way of doing it is to know what your values are and to make your decisions based on your values. So does it fit my values? Yay. It has priority in my life. Does it not fit my values? No. And I actually go uh, one step further with a lot of clients and have them write out a vision statement for their life, a mission statement for their life, and then their top, top three to about seven values. You kind of don't want to do much more than that. And then I have them refer back to their, their mission statement, vision statement, and values when they're making a choice. Does this align with my vision for my life? Does this align with my current mission? Does this align with my values or does it not? You know, and we can make um, decisions on what we're doing with our lives. We can make decisions with our business that way. We can make decisions with um, who we are in relationships with based on those. We just keep coming back to that. Does it align? Does it align? Does it align? So that's one strategy. And then I'm going to give you a second strategy that you can use anytime. And uh, bear with me, some people might think it's a little interesting because we're gonna check in with you completely holistically on a decision and make sure that it aligns with the whole of you. And the reason why I say hold on is because so many people actually don't honor their whole selves when they're making a decision. As I said at the beginning, they might just check in with their brain. They might just check in with their heart and there's a whole bunch more to us than that. So here's what we're gonna do. So when you have a decision to make, and this could be anything, it could be um, maybe you wanna meet up with someone, uh, business or personal wise, but there's like something kinda going on. You're like, should I prioritize this? Should I not? Like, not really sure. So when you need clarity, 
What you're gonna do is you're just going to close your eyes. And for those of you with me now, go ahead and do this. Nobody's watching, but you can watch me close my eyes. <laughs> so we're gonna close our eyes and we're gonna think of this decision that we have to make, okay? Whatever it might be. Oh, and we're just gonna take a few nice deep breaths, just get into our body, feeling grounded. You know, you can ground whatever way you want. Imagine putting tree roots, things like that into the earth. Imagine connecting to source, the sky, whatever that kind of universal higher um, wisdom is that um, you may feel exists. And when you're feeling nice and centered, I want to check in. So we're going to have this question in mind, whatever this question is. Should I, should I, um, I mean, it really could be anything. It's like, should I garden today? <laughs> should I meet this person today? Okay. So we have that question in mind. And we're just going to check in and ask that question to our hearts. So we're going to just focus on our heart. We're going to ask our heart that question, just our heart, only our heart. And we're going to listen to what it says. And then we're going to move down to our gut, okay? Our gut has so much to do with our instincts and our safety and our power. And we're going to ask our gut that same question now. We're just going to listen to what our gut has to say. What does our gut have to say about this? What would it like? And then we're gonna move down to our sex, to our sexual center. And we're gonna ask it, what does it think about this? Ask it the same question. What's its opinion? What does it want with this? And some of you might be surprised how strong of an opinion your sexuality has about things that you may not have thought your sexuality would care about. And that's because your sexuality is a holistic part of you. It's a primal part of you. It's part of your creativity. It's part of so much more than what we consider these days to be our sexuality. So checking in with our sex. And now we're gonna move up all the way up to our highest self, like our most wise, all-knowing, interconnected self. Because you know, energy is never lost in this world. It's always made and remade. So the very energy that you're made of is connected to, to all of life and all of everything else. So we're gonna connect in with a higher self and ask our higher self that same question. Okay, and then lastly, we're going to come down into our minds. And we're going to ask our mind now what it thinks, asking it the same question. And we're going to ask our mind to take into consideration all of the other parts of us now. We're going to ask our mind to listen to what our heart said, to what our gut said, to what our sex said, to what our higher self said. And we're going to ask our mind now to bring that information all together in an aligned choice for us. A choice that honors all of the parts of us. And that answer that you will get after you do that will honor you fully and holistically. And it will um, give you a great deal of information about what your body and your self desires on so many levels. And I really, um, invite you to just try this 
um, a few times. Give it a few times. Say maybe that you're going to um, check in with yourself like this on a decision, um, you know, three times a week for the next two weeks and just see how those choices end up um, enriching your life, how those choices end up being different. And uh, come back and tell me how it goes. I'd love to hear from you. Mwah. Goodbye, loves.